Alright guys, it's Chris from Cartridge Blast Gamers, and this is Space Engineers. Today I wanted to show you a little bit of a concept I've been working on. I've, uh, I've been looking at the internet, and I've been looking at other people's designs, and the one thing for shipbuilding, uh, a large grid, like your printer needs to be simpler than the actual ship you're building. It also needs to have low uh, PCU and it needs to have very few parts. If we take a look in here, I think this is a split grid, so um, you'll see 405 uh, PCU. Um, that's good. That's that's good. That's low. Um, and if we go up here, let's see if this changes the number. It should, I think. Yeah. Okay. So 10,000. Because we're using conveyors and and all other stuff and a whole bunch of grids here. So. What I wanted to do, and this is basically the uh, B60 uh, cargo carrier that's actually in the game. Um, if you find a trading post, this is one of the possible ships that you could purchase for, uh, I don't know, so many uh, space credits or whatever it is. Um, economy. <laughs> so, what you're looking at here is basically the blueprint of that ship and it's a pretty large ship I have to say the uh, the total blocks on, are actually recorded here so if you ever wanted to know how many blocks <clears throat> or what's going on with the ship that you're building the blueprint will actually tell you so in the projector the projector will show down on the right hand side what you need to build uh, how many are left to build, conveyor tubes, all of the separate th things that belong in that ship. You, you know, it's even got a jump drive in there. So, it is a significant ship. It's a really nice starter ship that you can probably build off of. I know <clears throat> I've added more weapons and stuff to this when I played Survival. Uh, it's just a little bit, it's, it's a lot of fun to be able to modify existing ships. It's it's also cool to build your own, but it's less time consuming if you have the grid already. So that is why I wanted to build one of these. The ship printer should not take longer than to build the ship itself. It should be less complicated to build this so that you could build that and less time consuming. So as you can see here, I've got very simple design. I mean, a very, very simple design. I threw a couple batteries here. I'm in creative, of course, so you can easily hook this up to a base uh, or, you know, another power grid or, or something like that. I, you know, I wanted to leave these open so that I can hook that up to a better system uh, for materials and, and maybe a refinery and, and a... Uh, basically a production facility so I can have all the components I need to build what you see before you which is a giant ship now the printer doesn't get all of the bits um, what's hard is the bits that stick out like this this is this juts out as separate from the grid itself now there are a lot of ships that that don't have uh, bits and pieces sticking out like this but I find that if you have to go in there with a welder or a welding ship and, and just weld up a couple of components and a few armor blocks versus building the whole thing, it's totally worth it because of the time that you save. I've got uh, this piece here. I call this the key. This is a base. This is your key block right here. This will hook up to the first block that is that is accepted in the printer. You'll notice that it is highlighted a little bit brighter than the other ones where it is the only buildable block uh, right now. And before we do anything, I would like to shut off my welders because I don't want Clang to explode my, uh, my creation. That would be sadness. Okay, so what we're looking at here is a, is a simple, simple design. I think this is 11 pistons in total and I've got them down to a very low crawl uh, uh, level in, in the system here. Let me just pull it up here. That's not how you spell pistons. There you go, pistons. So, I 
recommend this to everybody that's building a printer. Uh, you'll see here you can this is at the, I did a control right or control left click and you're able to input the data here. I did a 0 0.05 instead of like a 0.5. It's because the speed increases with each piston. So for instance, if you have more than one piston, that speed is going to increase because they're all moving at the same time. Unless you have them staggered, they're going to move quite fast with, with the lowest setting that you could put on the slider bar there. So I suggest putting in fractional speeds so that um, it doesn't go too, too fast and that you weld up as many possible blocks as you can. Um, also, the printer I designed here is very uh, simple. It's you can cater it to the size of the ship if you know the dimensions, the uh, the X and Y. So, for instance, if you have like a 50 block wide uh, ship, you may have to make your um, your grid come out about 50 blocks. Just remember that these welders can weld up to two blocks away from it, so it, it's it's got some play. But don't, um, you know, it's better to actually have the grid inside of of your welder. So the, by mean, what I mean by grid is have your ship grid inside of the welder grid so that it equals or is similar to that size and shape. So you can add or subtract. Just remember to pipe it up in the back so each, um, each set can like get materials from the source. Uh, speaking of, I do have uh, this system connected directly to the main container. So all of your components will go into this grid and you'll notice that this is all set up in a staggered fashion in like a checkerboard fashion only because you don't need to have welders next to each other. Yeah, like I said, they, they have the ability to uh, weld up in between these air spaces which actually will help you out a lot when you're dealing with uh, putting in this piece here because that's going to stick out just ever so slightly. So let me just demonstrate how this all works. And I will get out of here so you can see this action. If you're ready to build a ship of this size, then um, you're probably going to uh, have all the materials and, and resources you, you, you can need or want, so that is something to consider. This will, in survival, probably not uh, fire up its hydrogen engines, because you'll have to put ice and, thing and uh, resources like that into this ship. But because I'm in creative, you'll see the hydrogen thrusters kick on, and then you will notice that the... Uh, uh, power grid is actually connected so your battery source will be starting to uh, drain as your engines are turning on on your ship. I think when they start building you could sit in, in the command um, console and you can shut off the engines as they are built. That's, that's a recommendation that uh, if you want to babysit it, if you got enough power hooked up to it, like if this is connected to your base in some way, and you got a, a bunch of batteries and, and things of that nature working, then please, that's just, just let, let your engines go. It'll actually help the weight distribution as the engines turn on. You'll notice that these wheels won't be used. However, if the engines are turned off, it's not picking its own weight up. So you'll end up having to use these wheels, which are just on rotors. And it's to prevent, that the, prevent the projector from uh, smacking on the ground all that much. Alright guys, um, I just had to do a quick check of the system, make sure that uh, I had everything in place, and I think this is a good time to do a little bit of a time lapse to watch this this crazy thing work. Uh, make sure you turn on your welders first before you start this process, uh, and then all you need to do is really sit back and uh, hit one button and your ship is built. Check this out.
Okay. That actually worked out pretty good. Look at this. A couple of armor blocks didn't get printed out, and I, I think I know why. It's because uh, by the time the welders got to this point, they were already out of range. But, as you can see, like I said, there's a couple of bits and pieces here that are not welded up, but can easily be done. Just some armor blocks. Uh, you got some heavy armor here with an antenna on it. Most of the uh, grid itself is intact, and let's take a look at the interior of this thing. It's a big ship, right? Well, I mean, it's big for, for atmosphere, but I think this is pretty cool. So, oxygen generators are working. This room, glass is printed out. This looks like a, like a bed and um, closet area with a, a oxygen generator right here. This is a space-worthy ship, so that you can, um, you know, that's the airlock there. Um, there's a battery under here, too, with a plate on top of it, so that's good. <laughs> like how the battery sticks out a little bit. Um, yep, all the power was produced. What we got here, cargo container, looking good. Medical, medical is in and functional. That's awesome. We've got some buttons here, we got side doors here, and uh, yep, this this is actually looking great. And this is this could all be customized with for you guys later. A couple of chairs, a uh, gravity generator, which I doubt you'll be able to build in. Well, I you know what? I doubt you'll be able to build that unless you had the materials to to make it. I'm not exactly sure what it requires, but. Actually, I'd, I could find out. Where's my tools? Find my tools. Here we go. Gravity components might be an issue. But I think that's about it. I think most of it can be built. Then you've got the cockpit, and uh, looks like all of the glass is put in. Panels. So, obviously, this would all be yours very quickly. That literally took... A, a minute or two to, to produce because if you had to build this with by a welder this would take hours so very very cool my suggestion to you guys is, is build a ship in creative import it or grab it in a in a blueprint and then use that blueprint to make in your survival world and build you know make a printer so that this work is is easy easy work and then you'll be out there exploring the galaxy before you know it, or solar system as it were. I don't know. I'd like to see Keen Software make a Space Engineers 2. That would be pretty cool, like a sequel to this game, but you know, more expansive, uh, better, better tools, better, you know, better blocks, better everything. Honestly, just a revamped game that makes this game seem obsolete. That would be pretty awesome. So. Yeah, guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, this is not really a how-to build. This is more of a demonstration build. It's a demo. But if you're interested in building this thing, it's quite easy. You've got pistons just extending out with, with a wheel on it. You've got a grid of uh, welders. I put a piston up here to save on uh, materials, a piston works just as good as stacking a bunch of blocks up there so uh, a couple of batteries and a platform and this cargo container real easy real simple you know no fuss no muss and uh, I think it I think it looks good I think it's something that you can build easily early on in game and get your ships made for for your early exploration so so once you guys have this built uh, the most important thing to remember is to just disconnect it from the grid. But, but, before you do, you won't be able to weld this up with the projector. So what I suggest doing is getting your favorite welding ship or coming out here with your welder and basically doing it yourself. Obviously I'm in creative so things just automatically come into existence when I hit it but in survival it's gonna take a little bit of time but this is actually 
quite quick work. It's just a couple of couple of engines and some armor blocks. Not a big deal. I mean, you can even get in here and uh, get the blocks you missed on the inside. Always good to check if blocks are missing on the inside. You don't want any integrity issues. But yeah, I mean, it's as simple as that. Guys, let me know how we're doing. Let me know how you're doing. I hope everybody's doing well, staying safe and healthy and all that good, happy, fun stuff. Um, comment down below. Please like and subscribe. But uh, that's it for me. I'm Chris from Cartridge Blast Gamers, and we'll catch you on the next one.